Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the module 1 of Python super important questions and uh, in the module 1 we have 7 super important questions taken from the previous papers and model question paper. Don't miss any of them and if you learn all of this you can easily score more than 80% marks. These are the super repeated ones, don't miss any of them. And uh, before starting please do like and subscribe, it helps make more videos like this. So without wasting more time, let's get started. The first question is uh, explain local and global scope uh, with variables for each uh, for each okay means you have to explain the local and global scope variables and uh, it is for eight marks the explanation will be uh, for uh, four marks and the example and the code will be for two two marks each okay you have to write three things explanation example and code okay so basically what is a variable a variable is something that stores a value okay a variable is something that stores a value let x is equal to seven so inside x the value seven will be stored that is what is called as a variable and the variable Variable will be only available inside a region where it is created okay so if a variable is created between these two uh, flower braces at that time the variable can be accessed in between this only and if I try to print X from here after outside this value it will throw an error why because it is uh, uh, you're trying to access a variable outside where it was located so its scope is this one that is called as a sco scope of a variable okay that is the uh, scope and the example can be given this one def uh, my function x is equal to 300 print x okay my function and when you do the my function it will be calling the uh, x value here and it will be printing here only okay so local variables cannot be used in global scope okay this is the local variable it can be used only in the local scope within this function definition okay and uh, the local scope cannot be local variables cannot be used in the global scope okay for example if we do define spam okay so the variable uh, of x this uh, scope will be this much only x is defined here and spam is uh, called from here okay so x is defined here and when we do print x what will happen x is trying to define trying to call x from a function inside a function it is not globally accessible this will throw an error okay this will throw it uh, throw what this will throw an error okay that is an example for the global scope uh, local scope which cannot be accessed outside the uh, scope of it global variables can be read from a local scope okay so the global uh, variables if we declare it somewhere as a global variable we can use it inside the scope here so define spam print x x is equal to 42 spam print x so we can use uh, x in between inside the function and outside the function as well if it is declared as global variable okay Moving on to the second super important question we have right, uh, develop a program to generate Fibonacci sequence of length and read and from the console okay so full program is eight uh, five marks and if, uh, for the logic the three marks will be given okay so uh, for the Fibonacci series sequence of number what is a Fibonacci series it will be 0 1 1 and uh, 2 and uh, 2 plus 1 is 3 then next it will be 5 and after 5 it will be 5 plus 3 8 8 plus 5 is 13 13 plus 8 is 21 and so on it will be keep on going okay so this is a fibonacci series we have to generate this one okay so here what will be the uh, case is n is equal to int input inter number so n is a uh, number we are taking here a is 0 b is 1 this is the two initial numbers we have to take sum is equal to 0 initially i is equal to 0 then print fibonacci series while i is less than or equal to n okay whatever the number means how many fibonacci series we want we will be printing it till that point first is print sum sum will be 0 a is equal to b b is equal to sum and sum is equal to a plus b a plus b it will be 1 so i will become incremented then it will be again printed okay so first 0 will be printed then 1 will be printed then 1 plus 1 will be printed based on this sequence a uh, b will be coming in a and sum will be coming in b again a plus b will happen so that the previous two digits which were there that will get added and that will be printed and then these two digits will be taken into consideration and that will be uh, printed like that it will keep on going until we reach the n value and then it will be stopped okay so 5 means 0 1 1 2 3 will be printed okay we got the third super important question we have explain if else if uh, if elif else break continue for example uh, with examples for each okay first is if statement okay if statement is we will be having a statement here we will be having a condition here okay if this condition is true this will be executed else it will not be executed okay that is a if statement okay for example if you have taken the number as 10 okay and if number is greater than 0 this is the condition given okay what is the condition given number is greater than 0 is the number greater than 0 yes then what will be printed out number is positive so this is the expected output so this is the condition based on this condition if it is true or false this will be printed or not printed okay the next is elif elif means if uh, the if condition is failing in that case what should be printed okay so suppose that if number is equal to 0 the first condition is if number is greater than 0 print number is positive since it is not true this will not be printed then it will come to elif and check else if the number is greater than greater the number is equal to equal to 0 then print this value so elif checks uh, if if will fail okay elif checks if if will fail got the point so this will be checked and if this is true this will be printed and if this is also not true then it will come to else and no matter what the uh, thing is finally it will print number is negative so in this case in number is zero this will be true then number will be zero it will be printed okay 
moving on to the third one which is else else is nothing but we discuss in the talk so it's the same thing okay break break means it is used to uh, terminate the loop okay loop means it will keep on iterating the same thing again and again when we use break it will terminate the loop okay so for example for i in range 1 to 6 means it, i will be uh, ranging from 1 to 6 in that case if i is equal to 3 break what happens here <coughs> First, I will be 1. It will check this condition. This will not be true. It will print I. I will be printed as 1. Next, again, it will go and I will, I will become 2. I will check as 3. It is not 3. So, it will print I. I will become 2 and it will be printed. Then, I will become 3. It will check I is 3. It will break. Break means it will come out of the condition. It will not print and it will just, just the output will be 1 and 2. Okay. That is the uh, break condition. Continue means what? Continuous statement is used to skip the current iteration and move to the next one. So, for example, if it is i is equal to 3 and we put, if put continue here instead of break, what will happen is uh, when i is 3, continue will happen means the rest of the conditions will not be executed. It will go to the next iteration and from 4 it will start. So, the output will be 1, 2, 3, it will skip and then it will be 4, 5 till the end of this uh, loop. Okay. Next one is the for loop. In for loop, what happens? It iterates over a sequence. It can be either a list, tuple, string or uh, the other variables like the range it will be okay so what happens here if you want to uh, execute one statement multiple times you will be using a for loop here so for i in range 1 to 6 print i that means output will be 1 2 3 4 5 uh, the range 6 when we put it will print till 5 only okay so when we want to do it multiple times something that time we will be using a, a loop okay and this is the uh, syntax for the for loop and this is the output with the example okay Moving on to the next point, one question we have explain string concatenation and string replication with one suitable example for each. Concatenation means what joining. Okay, concatenation means what joining. Replication means what repeating. Replication means repeating. Okay, so example is explanation is for two marks. Example code is for four marks. Okay, string concatenation and for concatenation we'll be using plus operator. It means joining two or more strings using the plus operator. This creates a new string by appending one string to the other. For example, str1 we are taken as hello here and str2 2 is taken as world here so result is str1 plus space plus str2 so what will happen hello space world will be stored in result so when you print result it will be hello space world that is called as concatenation repetition means replication means you'll be using the uh, star operator so why, uh, when uh, for example if you take str1 as python and in the result we store str1 into 3 that means python will be, will be printed three times and it will be stored in result so when you print result it will be python python and python okay so this is replication Moving on to the fifth supermodification, we have what is exception handling, how are exceptions handled in the Python. Write a Python program with exception handling to solve an error situation for six marks. Okay. So exception handling means, means what? When an error happens, what is to be done? How it is to be handled? Okay. With an example code, we have to explain. Okay. We don't want a program to crash. We want to handle it nicely. Okay. So for example, if we divide by zero, for example, somewhere in the code I wrote as 42 divided by zero. In that case, what happens if we return 42 divided by zero, that cannot happen. So something should the code should do right. So what we will be doing is we will be handling it. Okay, how we will handle it is we will be uh, having a handle condition where it will be try and catch. Okay, so whenever uh, error will come at that time we have to handle it using try and accept blocks. Okay, try and accept. Okay, try means try it. If it does not happen, print whatever is there in the accept block. Okay, so if I show you the code, it will be simpler to understand. Define spam divide by divide by is the number we are passing. Whatever is the number we want to divide the 42 by, that will be passed here. Try will uh, we will be writing try here and then return 42 divide divided divide by divide by okay so if we pass here as zero what will happen this will throw an error whenever it throws an error we will go into our accept block accept the zero division error print invalid argument so when this happens to be zero at that time invalid argument will be printed instead of hanging in the hanging the computer okay that is the advantage of it when you uh, put as two the answer will be 42 by 221 when you put as 12 42 by 12 whatever the answer it is it will come when you put zero it will print invalid argument and then when it is one it will be printing 42 okay so this is the advantage of try and catch block uh, try and accept block okay <clears throat> moving on to the next one we have explain print input and len okay explanation example three marks explanation and code three marks okay so total six marks so print function will print the values so if you type print hello world print hello world uh, hello world will be printed okay input function takes an input from the user my name is equal to input means it will take an input from the user whatever the input we pass that will be stored in my name okay len function will find the length of the string if we put len and then we put hello here length of hello will be printed here okay next is user defined function how can we pass parameters in user defined function okay explanation example for two marks method and code for 
method and code for three marks okay so all the functions that are written by any of us come under the category of user defined functions the functions which we write that is user defined functions okay in python the def keyword is used to declare a user defined function and intended block of statements follows the function name so for example def func function name and then statements will be there so uh, an example def fun okay if you write in python if you open a python console and you will be writing def fun and then you will be uh, defining print inside function so what will happen whenever your function uh, is called fun is called inside the driver's code at that time what will be printed is inside function okay this much thing you have to write this is the code example now how to pass the parameters to pass the parameters we have we have to have the parameters defined uh, in the function name for example if you have uh, def greet customer and in bracket we have name here so it expects whenever we call the function greet function in the driver's code we have to pass some value here okay and what that value will be doing that value whatever we pass that will be uh, substitute Substituted in this place and it will be high that whatever name we pass welcome abroad to the home of delicacies so if you pass uh, here as xyz so it will be high xyz welcome to abroad to the home of delicacies for example if we pass here as greet customer theophilus theophilus you will be uh, able to see here hi theophilus welcome abroad to the home of delicacies if you pass uh, chidalu here it will be hi chidalu welcome home to the uh, welcome abroad to the home of delicacies that will be the output okay so this is uh, by using the parameters okay and a few more concepts are here the theory part you can go through it okay that's all for the module one and please do like and subscribe it helps me make more just like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one